Hey folks, welcome back to Failure at Retirement. So it's evening here, uh, so I apologize if the lighting isn't as good as it probably could be. But I'm finding out now that the contractor's working on the house and it's hot as the devil. Evening is about the only time I can film when it's both quiet enough and cool enough for me to even be out here. I'm not going to lie, old failure is not a big fan of the heat. It gets up over 100. I kind of check out. I'm, I'm done for the day. Anyway, the subject at hand, what I wanted to talk about real quick today was our great state of California. I've been noticing, I've been getting a lot of comments lately about why I'm still in the state of California, California, whatever you want to call it. Like, how can I stand to live here? I must get out immediately like everyone else is doing. Hang on till the end here because I'm going to give you my take on that. But I'm going to talk about a couple other things first, California things. First of all, I've said before, a guy don't watch the news, okay? Shame on me. There's things happening that, honestly, I see it on the news. It makes me angry. It brings stress into my life. I don't need that. So they can just do whatever they're going to do. I vote on election day. I'm informed when I vote. But other than that, I've only got the one vote as far as I can tell. So there's not a lot I can do about it. But I want folks to know there's really kind of two parts to California. There's the urban part, you know, almost almost all on the coast that are very liberal and then there's the rural part of california that's very conservative i live in the in the rural part of california okay it's the part you don't see on the news the part where i'm going to go ahead and say it normal people live and i don't mean for this video to be political and i'm sure that some people will blow me up in the comments and that's fine i don't really care this is not a political video. This is not about California politics. I'm just observing here that it's the folks in the heavily urban areas, mostly on the coast of California, mostly vote liberal. The interior of California, the agricultural areas, the mountain areas, tend to vote pretty conservative. If you don't believe me, if you think I'm making some kind of crazy charge, look it up. Look it up by county and how we voted, and you'll see that more or less that's the fact. Again, I could care less, okay? I've said before, um, I live in a conservative area. I vote, but I'm about compromise. I could care less, honestly, if you're liberal or conservative, let's just talk about it, okay? So I just want to get that behind me. Again, I don't want to get into politics, really. So the other thing is, you know, our state is beautiful. Uh, we have the ocean. It, it's not very far from where I am, a couple hours. And then really in like five, six hours, I can hit at least half of the California coast. And I've seen most of it in my lifetime. Not quite all of it, but I've seen most of it. It's really um, the Southern California part that I haven't seen, you know, where it's in the cities, Malibu, places like that. That's Those are the parts that I haven't seen. Uh, but like from, I don't know, somewhere south of Santa Barbara, Honestly, all the way up to Washington, I've seen it. Um, we've got the Central Valley of California, the Imperial Valley of California, where all the agriculture is. It's beautiful. There's beautiful crops everywhere. We can't technically grow anything we want. People say that all the time. Technically, it's it, it might be true, but for the most part, not commercially viable. Um, soybeans would be a good example. Nobody around California I've ever seen ever grows soybeans. 
Air Force having fun tonight. So, anyway, our California agriculture, we're literally feeding the world. Our crops are fantastic. The valley, the crops are beautiful to drive through. We have the Sierra Nevada mountains. Beautiful. Spend a lot of time there myself. I uh, can't get enough of it. It's much cooler in the summertime. Obviously cold in the winter. But we have high desert. Uh, and then in Southern California, we, we do have a lot of desert down there. It's nice. I like the desert too. It's kind of an acquired taste for me, but it, it's all good. We've got the redwoods in the coast range over near the coast. It's California is a beautiful state, uh, a state that people should visit more often. So now I'm going to get to my take on people leaving California and why I'm staying. So first of all, my kids are here. My grandkids are here. My home is here. I've lived in this same area almost my whole life. Uh, the big exception is when I went to college. I uh, went to college on the central coast of California. Again, amazing, great place to live if only I could afford it. We returned back. Uh, Mrs. Failure and I returned back to the area we grew up because there's just more economic opportunity for us. Uh, and that brings me really to the California's economic game. You know, obviously, you know, everyone knows, I think we're the most expensive, highest cost of living state in the U.S. Uh, we have some other neat drawbacks like that, really high fuel prices, which figures into the cost of living, all kinds of fun stuff. But the fact is, generally our wages are higher, not for everything, uh, but they're higher. Uh, for instance, uh, daughter of some people we know uh, just heard recently she was looking into moving to another state she's a nurse she found out the wages in the other state are exactly half of what they are here so yes it's expensive to live here but it's all kind of relative in my experience every story I've heard the things I've explored myself because years ago when I was younger I did explore moving to other states it's all relative, guys. Believe me. Yes, we have high taxes. Yes, we have high cost of living. It's all relative. You earn the money here. Yes, we could go take that money now that we've earned it and retire somewhere else cheaper. Fact is, we don't need to. Our kids are here. The grandkids are here. We have two homes here that we split our time between. Uh, our investments, for the most part, are here locally. We have it reinvested in our community. So we're not walking away from that. If the kids all of a sudden tell me tomorrow, hey, you know what? We're all leaving, all of us. Then, obviously, I'm going to reconsider right away. But you know what? Honestly, the people leaving California, and I know people who've left. And I know people who've left for a couple years and come back. They come back terrible homesick and turn out they didn't like it as much as they thought. I'll admit, you know, that's a small percentage. Uh, I think a lot of people make a big move like that. They're maybe a little too prideful to admit they're wrong and come back. Wrap your head around that for a minute. But, you know, the people who are leaving, honestly, I don't miss them. I don't miss them, and there's been some great people who've left. Don't take this the wrong way. It's just a little more for the rest of us once you've left. Here's the kicker, though. So the people leaving, right? Why are they leaving? High prices, high taxes, the politics. They, they'd be the first one to tell you. And believe me, they have told me can't stand the California politics. I got to get out of this place. Can't stand the politics. Guess what? Look at the states they're moving to. Those states are changing from red to blue. Who do you think is actually leaving? Seems to me like the folks leaving are some of the ones that are voting blue. Maybe they don't like the results. Don't really think it all the way through. 
they're going to go ahead and leave and they're going to change the politics in another state. Do you think I want to follow them to another state? Thinking that, yeah, finally I've moved to, you know, a place with better politics. And then five, ten years later, after I've made this major life commitment, the politics change there because all the nutty Californians, Californians have gone there. I don't want that for myself. But think about that very carefully. Think about the, the states who have a big influx of Californians moving in and take a hard look at what's happening to the political environment in those states and then start asking yourself questions about who's actually leaving California. Okay? Go ahead and blow me up in the comments. I don't care. I don't get into politics typically. I avoid it because of that. But here's your chance. Have at it. And I hope to see you next time on Failure Retirement. Have a good day.